and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica, the author of the blog, The Simple Home Place, and today I wanna to share with you how to make pine needle brooms. Okay, before we get into the tutorial on how to make pine needle brooms or pine straw brooms, I just wanted to give a little background as to the inspiration for these. So when I moved here to Florida, last year, um, I noticed something different than back home, or maybe it just wasn't as prevalent. And I'm from Wisconsin, by the way. Um, but I noticed that there were pine needles everywhere and that people use pine needles here instead of mulch. And I don't know why that seemed weird to me, but back home, we just use mulch. It's not like there aren't pine needles around. There's plenty of pine trees, but anyway, I was just, I don't know, something different. And so last summer, actually, my mind got to racing, like what could I make out of these pine needles? And so I did some research and people have been making baskets and different things out of pine needles for a very long time. But I thought, hmm, maybe I could make a broom. And I've seen a few tutorials out there. A lot of them use different materials on um, handmade brooms. So I thought this would be kind of something cool. These pine needle brooms are something that you could use as decor, specifically fall decor. I think they make really beautiful pieces in your overall decor. I don't know how many times I can say decor. <laughs> anyway, um, and they are functional. I wouldn't say they're the most amazing brooms ever, but you could use them like, I don't know, to brush off around your wood stove in the fall or something like that. Um, but really, they're just beautiful pieces. I have two of them here. So these are two that I made last year. And you can see, you can customize them a little bit with just the color of the yarn that you use and how you weave the yarn into them to hold everything together. I also make loops on the back so that you can hang them on the wall. And I just think they're really pretty and they just scream fall to me. And I know it's still summer, but I'm going to get a jump start on my fall decor. So just look out for some videos here coming up. Um, we're just going to get a head start. And if you love fall just as much as me, I think you'll be on board. But anyway, now that we've got a little background out, I am going to get into the tutorial. The first step in making these pine needle brooms is first you're going to forage for the needles and if you don't have them available you can purchase them online. I can leave a link down below to where you can find them. And then we will bake them at about 225 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour checking them every 15 minutes and that's to ensure that we kill any bugs that might be lingering and to make sure that they're 100% dry. Then we are going to take a generous handful of these needles and you want to find ones that are in similar length or that have a similar length and we're going to have them in our hand and kind of pull all of the ends up making sure that they're even and then we can get started on wrapping them. To wrap these brooms, I really like to use a cotton twine or a cotton crochet thread, but you can use whatever material you like to. You can use actual twine, um, whatever look you're going for, and you can change up the colors to fit your preference. But what we're going to do is wrap that twine around our bundle and create a double knot. And you want this to be fairly tight, not so tight that you might break needles, but tight enough that it's going to keep everything stable while you're wrapping and working on it. Then once you've got this anchor point, you can really get creative with the design that you're going to do. You could simply just wrap your twine or yarn around and that's it. Or you can make a little bit more of an intricate design, which I'm going to show you how to do. But to start off, like I said, we're going to wrap around, I'd say seven to 10 times, but you can do it as many times as you want. And I'm going to have that long tail. I'm going to wrap over top of it so that we're kind of weaving it in to keep it out of the way. And you could stop there, but I'm going to show you how to do a kind of a cool design. What you wanna do, and I'm right-handed, so I'm going to start on the left side and I'm going to pick up a small section of the needles and then leave them out and wrap the remaining section of the needles. It's a little hard to explain in words, but you can see it better as I'm showing you here. It's almost like braiding in a way, as far as your hands doing different things. 
and each section that I'm going to wrap, again, it's going to be five to ten times depending on how you want it to look, but you can change that to your preference, and it also depends on the thickness of the yarn or twine that you're using. So then I'm going to pick up another section, leave that out, and wrap the remaining needles, and continue that until I get to the end. Now that we've finished wrapping and we're happy with our design, now it's time to finish it off. And what I like to do is take a yarn needle and I left a really long tail after I cut it off and I'm going to weave that tail in through all of those wraps that we just made. And this is a little bit difficult so you have to take it section by section to get it through so I'm just going to go underneath and kind of weave that in. It's almost like at the end of a crochet project and it takes a little bit of time so take your time. Now the needles even though they are dry they're not super brittle so they are pliable enough where you're not going to break them as you're doing this but I'm just going to weave that tail in all the way up to the top and then we'll make our loop. Now these brooms um, I was inspired by hearth brooms and the blog post that I have will be linked down below and that's what I'm going to call these. And hearth brooms are used, they're placed next to a fireplace and they're used to sweep off your fireplace or your wood stove. You know you get a lot of ash and debris from the wood and that's what these are inspired by. Typically they're made out of corn husks but I thought this was a fun take on that. So I'm creating a loop so that you can hang them if you want to use them and have them be functional. You hang them next to your fireplace or your wood stove, but I also want to be able to hang them as a decor piece. You definitely don't have to. You could leave them in a little basket and that would be super cute and you could skip making the loop, but I think it's nice to have that as an option. So you can see I weaved that tail all the way up and then I went down a section and kind of sewed it through, sewed the tail through, and I created that loop. And now I'm just going to weave that down back through a few of those wraps, and then I'm going to cut it off and kind of hide that tail. You could probably play around with what makes sense to you. You could play around with the size of the loop, totally your preference. That's what I really like about these kinds of projects is that you can cater it to your needs and your style preference. So that's me just finishing it off and that's it. It's pretty easy to make these. It's not a lot of effort and I just think they're really pretty. So I am going to finish this off and then we're just going to trim everything up. Now I used similarly sized needles like I said before and so there shouldn't be a ton of trimming but you can leave it as it is or you can trim it down to whatever size you want. You could also leave the tops how they are or you can cut them down. I chose to cut them down but again it's just your preference whatever you want to do. Now one other thing that I want to mention is that you can control the thickness and the size of these brooms as well. So if you wanted a much denser broom then you could use much more of a handful than I did. You could use quite a few more. I would say each of these brooms probably uses about 70 to 100 pine needles. I think I did count <laughs> one time that I made these, but something like that. But you could double that amount. Um, it just might take a little bit longer to make, which is totally fine. You could even add some sort of a handle, although I don't have any tips on that because I've not experimented with it. 
But if you have access to these needles, then this project is virtually free. And so you could go ahead and play around with all sorts of different things. It's a really fun project to do on your own, but with others. And I just think they turned out so beautifully. I just think the colors are gorgeous and it's perfect for fall. Thank you so much for being here and taking time out of your day to watch this tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope it's something that you give a try if you found it interesting. Um, these pine needle brooms are pretty easy to make. They do take a little bit of time, but if you want a little artsy craftsy project, these are perfect, especially if you can find the pine needles just readily available to you. But I have a blog post for this as well. If you want to check that out and see the written instructions, I'll leave a link down below. But anyway, thanks again for being here and I hope you have a great rest of your day.